فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Then there are those whom they are not regular with their prayer and they couldn't be bothered. May Allah never make us from amongst those. I do not believe we would attend a talk of this nature or want to listen to a talk of this nature when we are not even bothered about our salah. I think the salah comes before a talk of this nature. And I'm speaking from experience having spoken to people. People who come to a talk which motivates you religiously. 99% of them would be people who at least they have, they're bothered about salah. I'm not saying they might, they, they'll be regular five times, perhaps might be weak. May Allah strengthen us. But they have to be bothered. That's what makes them want to come and listen to something motivational, to want to turn towards Allah. Because I tell you, Allah's made it quite clear. He gives and He tests. Those who believe will understand that this is a gift of Allah, this is a test of Allah. And then He snatches away sometimes. Sometimes as a point of mercy in order to turn people back to him or towards him for the first time. So if a person doesn't want to fulfill their duty unto Allah, sometimes he makes them go through something huge. And we've spoken about it. We've given entire lectures on this topic. And I'm not going to go into details because the, the, the statement I can say right here now is that if it is a calamity that brought you close to Allah, Wallahi, it was a gift of Allah. Don't wait for that. Turn to him before that so that it won't come in as a calamity. It will come in as a challenge. The same thing will happen, but it's looked at totally differently. May Allah make it easy. So never be from amongst those whom you couldn't even be bothered. That's the lowest degree that you could get to. In fact, there is one degree lower than that. But I don't believe a true mu'min would do that. <laughs>